creating a sculpture, for instance, and seeing a certain line in it and not really honing it in the first instance, but, you know, getting something which you're very happy with at the time. And then as you look at it again, you might find something which is not quite uh, pleasing to the eye anymore. And that's, and that's the weird thing of it, is that you, know, you could have something which you were happy with at the time, and then that thing moves on. With regard to the painting, you could do a painting which could take the best part of three or four months to create, and it'd be sitting there, and you'd still think that there was something not quite right with it. There was a painting which I had on show, and I couldn't work out why I wasn't comfortable with it. And then at the end of the day, what it needed was to be cut into a different format, and to add in some plants which were going to balance the whole uh, structure of the picture and allow less open space in the composition which was going to uh, make it sit much uh, happier on the, on the eye. And with regard to the sculpture is that you could have a sculpture of an otter but a slight twist in it would actually just create a beautiful line which it didn't have before and it could just be a couple of millimetres that you need to move it so that the subtlety is uh, is very important to suddenly discover what it was that you needed to change is uh, is, a, is a really good thing yeah the part which I enjoy out of making something is the physicality and of course I like the preparation that goes into um, getting it right having done my homework with sketchbooks and all the preparation with the taxidermy and understanding the anatomy and then to bring that on into a finished piece I think that is an incredibly personal thing to the artist to be able to get that right and that can't be passed on to a foundry for instance and you know, when I get my work cast I oversee the whole process including all the uh, finishing to make sure that, that none of that is been lost in the process and because I focus on minuter I can see people having worked on sculptures of mine where they've completely lost the anatomy in, in a certain part because it's been welded together and that's all got to be corrected so I am quite OCD with regard to, to that and that's why I think with regard to that process is that it's got to be started by the artist, worked through right the way through to the finish and so when you see that piece of work you know that you're buying a piece of my work that it is actually my work.